So today I want to show you how I created these green sack pillow cover and also a pillow insert to add to your green sack pillow. So I got these hand towels. They come in a set of four from Ikea for $2.99. They come in di four different patterns and I got two packs. So I went ahead and put my two right sides together and I sewn the two sides in the bottom leaving the top open. So once that was done, you need some strings to create the grain sack look. So I'm going to be using some bias tape for my strings. I got it from Joann's. So I went ahead and I added, I turned my pillow right side out and I added um, two strings on one side because I wanted two ties on my pillow. And I'm going to do the, opposite, the same thing to the opposite side. Only thing I did was I just counted my little lines just to know where to place my string and I use my sewing machine just to sew them down. Once that was done, I have a pillow cover and this is how it looks. So next I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a pillow for the, to add to the inside of my pillow cover. So I'm using two flower sack tiles. You can get a set of these, I think a set of 10 from Walmart for like $5. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave some of it hanging over as you can see because I want my pillow to be showing um, coming out the top of my pillow. I want to be peeking out of my pillow cover. And so I left a little bit hanging over so that would make my pillow a little longer than the pillow cover. So when you sew your pillow, you want to leave a small opening, small enough, well, longer, longer, large enough, I'm sorry, for your hand to fit through. So you can pull your pillow right side out and have all them rough edges in the inside of the pillow. And also so you can add your pillow fluff to the inside of your pillow. I hope that makes sense. Once that's done, the small little gap that's still open, I'm going to take my sewing machine and go ahead and sew that close. And that's it for this pillow. And you have a green sack pillow.